What are you borrowing to service? Do you borrow to put in your bedroom? There are government that you borrow, borrow money. There are government for... that are borrowed to pay to pay to pay salary. Wait, do you borrow to put money in your bedroom? No. You are borrowing, you know, to the for... how, how we go take progress for this country. Only a few people are enriching themselves. Stupendously rich. They don't know what they go do with the money. And they are not investing the money in this country. They are taking the money abroad. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Plan B TV News Gist and Blog. Okay. The president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is about to sell your country. Tinibu came to steal, to buy people, and to destroy the country economy. That is just the only thing this president is good at. The buying of people to clarify before they slam me with lawsuits or just DSS to start looking for me is not by carrying gun and start buying people. Boom, boom. You want to just own God to buy all your citizens because this president does not and did not and will not mean well for anybody. He's so selfish to the extent that even the human rights activists. Everybody's annoyed. I want you guys to watch this particular video that I came across of Mbelembe, the ordinary president, the Brekete family, on how he also reacted to the economical dichotomy of the current state of Nigeria. And I want you guys to watch the video. We'll be right back. How, how we go take progress for this country? Only a few people are enriching themselves. Stupendously rich. They don't know what they go do with the money. And they are not investing the money in this country. They are taking the money abroad. They get boiled. They go go abroad. They are, they are mess no smell the, the way they smell. They go go abroad. They won't do campaign. They go go abroad. Our presidential candidates, they go uh, Chatham House. Who chatter the house? Who are you trying to impress? What is so special about England? Bunch of crooks and criminals, barbaric human beings that make when I see Australia don't dodge come out from England now. Australia with their sense because they are people, they are education, they are education, they are important to them. They, 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 they apply them. We here with the worship England, the king of England come here the other day. People they run up and down. Wait, no be no be no be son son of uh, Queen Elizabeth. If if I know what Queen Elizabeth and, uh, and her family do uh, Nigeria, we na no go knight them. We na wait abacha loot abacha loot. Who be abacha be a chaba? They say they recover money from abacha loot. Yet money where they talk say they recover. He passed Nigeria budget, yet Nigeria still they borrow money, waiting then take the money to if not be lie. Nigeria, once they, they won't destroy you, they go give dog a bad name in order to hang it in the public and nobody will sympathize with you. Me, where they here? Because I help soldiers where they dismiss. Yes, sir. They go write letter to the president and commander in chief about me. Say I won't commit treason and felony. Say I gather soldiers away and dismiss in their thousands. They don't, they don't know what I don't do with them, and they don't know what they plan to do with them. If not be say DSS no be like Nigerian army. Now, now, now facts, then they work with and evidence. Therefore, don't kill me quietly. And if to say that thing come out, they say. Maybe I did, I gather them when we want do coup. I be want do something. Some of them go cost me join. Say hey, you won't done too much. So he gather these retired uh, dismissed soldiers. Some of these dismissed soldiers they dismiss them unlawfully. Some of them lawfully. Some of them admit here say they do bad, but they they seek for pardon. One of them talks say if they fit forgive Boko Haram. Call on repentant Boko Haram. Now, Nigerian army, they no go forgive. He talk and body with me. You go there here, German national. He go carry pol plenty police, plenty army. 
They go use your own uniform men. They intimidate you in your own country. Now, Nigeria be the country where you go come, register as a foreigner, as a Lebanese, as a Chinese, as a Cotonese, as a Togolese. You can register and be given mining license in Nigeria. You alone, a foreigner. 100%. No, 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 no Nigeria citizen is involved in the company. Yes, 100%. Mining is a very sensitive thing in, the, in, 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 in any country. Now, Nigeria, you go call register company 100% as a foreigner. Yes, sir. You cannot try this in Dubai. No, 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 no. You, if you get company, even when we are in the repair shoe, you must get a, a Dubai citizen as, as a major shareholder. You know they do anything, but now you get major shareholding. You do so much in the pursue you. He take over the company. Qatar. Recently, uh, a Nigerian, not too long ago, a Nigerian started a restaurant yes, like sir. small, small. Come grow the restaurant, African restaurant, big restaurant. The Qatarian, where they force on them, do one thing, one thing, they push you and come back to Nigeria. They seize the company. Yes, sir. How many foreign companies there for Nigeria? When we say, you get one company where they pay compensation to one family. Zeba said. When we start the company, now, now furniture company, mm. come to construction company, come to estate development company, come talk to mining company. Only in Nigeria you can see that rubbish because some of our leaders are so useless and so, so, so. so. You, you know, we, we are ordinary president. We are talking about money. Government said then they look for money, they go borrow. The See money, money for ground for the Nigeria. The money where then they extract from Nigeria in the name of illegal mining, or even the one where they say illegal mining. Government know they get five percent of the money. What of our oil? They know they get Nigeria, nine big country where get oil, where the oil they useless to the country. If for God go bless us with something, we go hunger go go the, go, go, the, go, go the kill us. Yes, please. For solid mineral, if they even try to do a little as they do for oil, make it be say at least maybe thirty percent of waiting then they extract Ogaranya. from Nigerian soil, they enter. Ogaranya. Yes, sir. Nigerian oil. Mm. Nigeria is now benefiting up to ten percent. Mm. In case you don't know. Mm. What Nigeria is getting out of its oil, where God you bless us, is less than five percent. Now thief then they thief the oil. Mm. Time down each way we go open all these people and we, go and we go do national prayer all the people both the the ones will be muslims will be our leaders the ones will be christians will be our leaders and others and others we go pr do bad prayer for their head we go do them they give them license they go, then they, they, go, they, go they, they take they go And the same country they go go borrow money from the other countries. Everybody in Nigeria with a normal human sense is so annoyed and pissed off right now that they know there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Tunibu have half the light. To the extent that they even block the tunnel. Once you are in, there is no way out, there is no way in until four years to, for you to decide. When I watched this particular video, I was thinking on my own personal. Hand. I just said, okay, immediately this particular video gets to the president. This is what the president is going to do. He's going to strategize and put things in place. Like, he's going to do something huge for the country. Boom! After President Bola Metunibu watched this particular video that me and you just watched from Mbelembe family. <laughs> you know what he's doing? This man decided to sell Nigeria and want to borrow trillions. Not million, not billion, is going to borrow trillions. A man that is just spending one year plus in office. And I want you guys to watch the video and how everybody, everybody is crying right now. Is Bola Metinibu trying to really do this? I want you guys to watch this particular video on how the Senate is trying to approve or decided to approve the billions that your president is about to borrow for nothing. For that correspondence from Mr. President. Distinguished Senator Augusto Lakwabio GCON, President of the Senate, Distinguished Senate President, request for the resolution of the National Assembly for the implementation of the new external borrowing 
610-3821-779.00. That's about 2.209 billion US dollars. Already enshrined in the 2024 Appropriation Act. So in accordance with the provisions of sections 21, subsection 1 and 27, subsection 1, the Debt Management Office DMO established Act 2003 and the approval of the Federal Executive Council a right to request for a resolution of the National Assembly to raise the sum of 2.2 United States dollars provided as new external borrowing in the 2024 Appropriation Act to part finance the budget deficit of about 9.17 trillion. The President has gone further to enumerate the implementation of the new external borrowing uh, in the 2024 uh, budgetary plan, the funding plan, Bola Mentin Nimbu used twenty five percent pass Boari for wickedness. He's just there showing everybody shaggy. Tipin, he's paining everybody. Even to the extent Olapasa, everybody is crying. And I want you guys to also watch this particular video. It's up to the National Assembly. But this is not the only money that this government has borrowed since he got into office. The question and the fear a lot of people have is, are we borrowing for the right reasons? This borrowing is going to be used to part finance the deficit of the 2024 budget. You are not even looking into the... It is good for you to have a deficit budget where you have a surplus debt ratio to, to GDP. You should have a, a very big deficit budget. So a deficit budget help, you know, in economic development. Now, if, if this thing comes to our committee, I don't see anybody going to say it's against it. For what reason? $2 billion for 250 million population with a GDP to debt ratio of 50%? It's a bad idea. You need to go to another country. I mean, give us an idea because there are a lot, I mean, if, if looking at the figures, our international debt figures show that in January 2024, debt servicing costs uh, is such about 398.89%, rising to 560.52 million US dollars from 112.35 million US dollars in January 2023. Well, and there is a slight decline of 1.84%, with payment reduction from 288.54 million US dollars in 2023 to 280, uh, 283.22 million dollar in 2024. The big question is that you look at your, uh, your FX, you look at your value of your Naira, you look at your borrowing plan, you look at the projection of your agenda. Where do we start from? That's a big question. Not only borrowing for borrowing sake. What are you borrowing to service? Do you borrow to put in your bedroom? There are government that you borrow, borrow money. There are government for... that borrow to pay to pay to pay salary. Wait, do you borrow to put money in your bedroom? No. You are borrowing, you know, to de for development. Even if you pay salary and so what? That is going to make workers to be happy and be efficient in service delivery. And don't you know the quantum benefits of you know about fifty billion dollars into the economy? Your, do, your naira against dollar will go down. So you have a good exchange rate because you have dollar there to defend your currency. So borrowing will, 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 will drop at the, the, the Because you are, you are breaking dollar in. You are not breaking naira. For example, this $2 billion uh, dollar, if it's this borrowed. Is too, this is too insignificant. So it, 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 it will not be minute uh, money. This so it will impact. No, 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 this is just uh, lunch money. What's the $2 billion? Are you worried that the exchange rate dollar is on the Wait, wait. $2 billion to 250 million people? to finance deficit budgets of a year that will end in 2020, 2024, ending in about less than 60 days. Good effort of government. If Nigeria will understand, we need to encourage the government to do more. So if you bring money, let, let us, let's take this scenario of a small case study. You borrow to Kopira Jakuta. How much money do you think we drop from Naira pursuing dollar to import iron? Every building you build in this country, you need how much? 30% of the building is iron co component. See iron everywhere. 
Now, this iron, what do you use to buy it? You change Naira to dollar. Now, if you have your own Ajakuta completed and running, now 27 billion Naira will be saved. So people go to Ajakuta to use Naira to buy iron. They are not going to go to Central Bank to exchange Naira to import iron. One good scenario. How many people will be employed? How many taxes will collect from that? How many VAT will come into the government? If we have 10 of church, can't you pay your $50 billion back? So let's, let's don't look at debt ratio. Uh, you are using 90% to service. The money you are bringing is, 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 is called capital injection. Now, this capital, are you going to put it under your bedroom? You're going to use the capital to, to develop. Allow the Tinubu administration to open the economy up because the economy is, too, is converging with a lot of complexities that can be, cannot be distilled to development easily. In fact, it hinders development. If you open up the economy a bit, and let me tell you, you cannot be an island in your own country. Nigeria is a member of the Global Economic Society. This is where we're going to be ending the video today. As a good citizen of Nigeria, what do you think about your president's borrowing? This money that your president is borrowing. What do you think in 2027 what will happen? Because remember, all the elections that have been conducted ever since Bola Metinibu took over office in Nigeria, across Nigeria, Bola Metinibu is using INEC. Yakubu Momodu to sweep all, sweep all elections. They will ask you to go to court. For the first time in Nigeria, I don't even know how there's no law is working, no uh, security agencies is working, and no nothing, everything. Can you just half the key? You just half Nigeria, you just half them. You just like somebody that is so wicked. Have you been to that area where somebody, somebody is so wicked to the extent that not only you want to get generator? And once in honor, you know, allow anybody charge their phone for your house. Go, go lock door. Now, so Tinubu just be so. They have the light of Nigeria. Only, only him and his family is benefiting from Nigeria now. This is in Nigeria. You see how we're living now? You see how we're living now? Even Papa and Mama and brothers and sisters and everybody don't take over position for Nigeria. That is what is happening under President Bola Metinibu. Recently, his son, Shane Tinibu, was a doors to campaign and to run for the office of governor in Lagos. Another story that has been trending is the endorsement of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's son, Shane Tinubu, as the next governor of Lagos State by the Coalition of Nigerian Youth Leaders, a group representing youth organizations across Nigeria's six geopolitical zones. The group highlighted Shei Tinubu's potential to build on the foundation laid by his father, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, during his tenure as Lagos State Governor. They praised Tinubu's transformational leadership, which elevated Lagos to the center of excellence and expressed confidence that Shei would surpass his father's achievements if elected. <laughs> Dr. Abati, uh, it's great. This statement was okay, issued on very Tuesday. Quickly, I, I'll try to be yes. brief because we don't have time. Yeah. Well, I mean, the uh, youths of uh, Nigeria, they say they are a coalition. A coalition. Well, they say they have a stake in uh, who becomes next governor of Lagos. Let those youths be reminded that these are the same youths who have been told that if they came from anywhere outside Lagos State, if they don't do what the people of Lagos want, they can jump into the lagoon. <laughs> So, but uh, I don't know what gives them the confidence. Their premises are also suspicious. They are saying that because uh, President Tinubu did well as governor of Lagos, his son too will do well. Mm -hmm. Well, is it by osmosis that you acquire leadership uh, qualities? Uh, that looks very strange to me. They say that it is the time for a young person to be governor of Lagos State. Young people have always, uh, you know, been governor of Lagos. Governor Tinumbu, as he then was, was a young man. How old was uh, uh, Baba Tunde Raji Fashola when he was governor? How old was Ambode? How old is uh, Sonwulu that is there? He's still a young man. Mm -hmm. He's not even 60 yet. So that argument also falls flat. The only thing that I see is that they say uh, Shei Tinumbu is very capable, is knowledgeable and all that. Okay, they can say that. They will have to convince us. But we should know that this is not a dynasty. No. This oh. is a democracy. On, really. Nigeria is not Equatorial Guinea. Oh. Nigeria is not Cameroon. Okay. <laughs> if they want to uh, uh, propose uh, Shei Tunumbu, 
they should do so. Mm -hmm. But he will be assessed on his own merit. That's it. Not on the basis of DNA, <laughs> Quite, uh, which we cannot uh, really push. And finally, finally, I think if uh, uh, President Tinubu wants to make his son governor, yeah. this is probably the best time. After all, it's <laughs> Emil Okon. So we can have <laughs> Emil Okon in Abuja <laughs> and also have no, Emil Okon in Lagos. Emil Okon. I rest my case. All those words that we do respect, all those that are speaking, um, is not a dynasty. It's not a this. They were assessing. They can, it's English you are speaking. You have said it. Your last phrase is, it's Emil Okon. Itinubu, your excellency, sir. Welcome to the governorship of Lagos. Oro Diliba Ben. You two, you will be it. All this what we are talking. It doesn't matter. Election period they will come now. Before you know you are governor. So yeah. Governor She Itinubu. Governor She Itinubu of Lagos. That's just you see, we can deceive ourselves so much. You see. I can talk very comically and all, all laughter, but I cry for Nigeria mm -hmm. because that's what Nigeria has become. Is it only Tinubu that is doing it? What are other politicians that have put their children there? Mm -hmm. Why are you talking about one in Edo State that put his child as a commissioner? So if they say it's time for Shei Tinubu, is he us here? We will right. just talk. Mm -hmm. But it's as if there's a fair company already for them to mute this idea. For them to even put it in the public space, it looks like it's going to happen. Did they endorse him in the last election cycle? No. All right. It looks like it's going to happen. And conversations are already on. Before you know it, they will just start putting it in our face. So All right. accept it already. <laughs> There's nothing you can a do dynasty. about it. Lagos. A dynasty. What do we call it? Has a been a formed. It has gone full circle. A, a Miloko dynasty Miloko. is already in Lagos. So let's stop well, deceiving right. ourselves. I'm a realist recall. Well, all right. It's time for Lagos. Now, the first son is going to become the governor of Lagos because we know I neck will rig that election. Ever since Bola Metunibu took over office, there have not been free, fair, credible election in Nigeria. You you conduct election, they ring it, they ask you to go to court. And the Supreme Court, they rule it. That's how everything has been going. If they do you anything, they say go to court because they know they control the judiciary. Now, let's not talk about the judiciary. Shane Tunibu is going to become the governor. Their first daughter. That one is the Yaloja of Lagos. The Amanda is not just a senate, but the first lady of Nigeria whose office, for the first time since the history of Nigeria, that the first lady now have budget, a monthly budget coming to the office of the first lady. Just within the space of one year, when they, when they calculated how much the first lady has spent in her office and what she's doing with money, you go ahead like this. Now the family, is running Nigeria, just like people they run Kate, like Kate. The first daughter, the Yaloja of Lagos, the first wife, <laughs> I mean the wife of the president is now, it's not just a, a, a normal regular, normal regular first lady of Nigeria. No, we are talking about a first lady with a budget. See how this man took over Nigeria and squeeze it, make it. Like you just see where hungry person eat orange after the only cast what come look the orange for after the way I go you go you go turn now start to the eat inside you go eat inside. <laughs> that is what Tinibu is doing to Nigeria by the time 2027 comes I I bet even if that man lose election he will not you know opinion of which I know you will not lose even if you lose you will not pay him because this man have eat what no man Except a president that will come into power, eh? He's so dreadful that he's not afraid of anybody. But since everybody assets that have worked on that APC, since all of their assets, just the same way that Tinubu is doing now. If you are a APC, all your sins are forgiven. Like Yaya Bello, nobody is able to touch by Yaya Bello, but is arresting and going after other political party past uh, elites. Anyway, my uncle take a person now. At the best, but <laughs> uh, anyway, this December is already here. I beg, I will just beg you guys for one thing. You will know, you will the belly eat. Uh -huh. I'm not talking about my viewers because person if you subscribe gets at least more to eat. For those out there, please, if you get one or two, even if not one rubber of rice, surprise somebody. Look for somebody in your area just for the Christmas. Just give them one rubber of rice. It, it will go a long way if you know you are worth doing. 
help the poor because people they suffer. I mean, people is really suffering under this president. Anyway, God bless you all for your great work. I pray for your health. I pray for your finance. I pray God continue to use you to, to bless others and God continue to replenish your pockets and bless you in the middle of vote. God grant you good health. God bless you miraculously. Every good thing that you so much desire before this year ends, God will surprise you. How we do it, I don't know, but I know God will definitely bless and enrich all of you that are watching my content. I just pray that God touch every area of your life. And until we meet again, peace out. Please stay safe and I love you guys. Peace out. Demo established Act 2003 and the approval of the Federal Executive Council. I write the request for a resolution of the National Assembly to raise the sum of 2.2 United States dollars provided as new external borrowing in the 2024 Appropriation Act to part finance the budget deficit of about 9.17 if the president has gone further to enumerate the implementation of the new external borrowing uh, in the 2024 uh, budgetary plan, the funding plan, financing options, summary of uh, indicative terms and conditions. Utilization of process of the new external borrowing required resolutions necessary, which is part of what is being, and so based on availability of costs to issue euro bonds in the sum of two point one point seven billion dollars for or more, but not more than two point two billion dollars approved as the external borrowing in the 2024 Appropriation Act. The Honorable Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, working with the Debt Management Office, they are all authorized to take all relevant and necessary actions required to give effect to this resolution of the National Assembly when approved. While looking forward to the kind consideration of this submission and timely issuance, of the resolutions by the National Assembly, please accept the Senior Senate President and the Senior Senators the assurances of my personal regards. Yours sincerely, Paula Ametunibu, President, Commander in Chief, Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Summary of indicative terms and conditions for the issuance of the Euro bonds in the international capital market are attached. This is referred to the Committee on Local and Foreign Debts to bring back to the Senate within the next 24 hours. It's already enshrined. It is enshrined already in our 2024 borrowing plan. 